Hey guys, Shrey from Mooks Gadget here, and today we're just bringing you a quick uh, overview on the Android 2.2 Froyo update on the Motorola Droid X, which is on Verizon Wireless. So let's start from the top. So once you unlock your screen, now you're going to notice that they've changed it. So you don't have your old cartoony uh, lock and your sound off and on button locking uh, mechanisms there. You have this new kind of like more robotic, I guess, uh, form of unlocking. And as you can see up here, you can't really see that that well, but they've centered the Verizon Wireless logo and the time. So it's not all the way on the left here, which it used to be, so now they move that to the center. So now you unlock it. So obviously you're not, you're not gonna notice a whole lot of new things uh, fresh from Froyo, but one of the things you're probably gonna notice is that they've changed their search box. So now when you let me try to get this into the thing so as you can see they've changed the search box so now you can uh open it up and you can change your search uh options your default so i just changed that to web so now if i go back let's go to web and i can search all my i can search the web like basically use it as, as a browser you can also search your apps there and you can edit these options here by just clicking the settings. So I guess Google's just trying to compete a little bit more with the with the uh, spotlight search on iOS. So basically now you got a little bit more of in, uh, options here. So I guess and that's one of the cool features about Android because now you can also search other applications like Time Mobile and other news sources. So that was a quick search box. Um, so now let's, look, now let's look at the widgets. Now, the widgets aren't that much different. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell the difference here, but uh, this, the, the power management widget, it's a little bit smaller and more compact, and the edges are more round, as opposed to previously, it basically filled up the whole width. So not a big deal, but that's just something that I noticed. And also, the screen scrolling. Now, I'm not sure if you can quickly catch that on this camera here, but when I scroll, once it hits the edge, then it, it kind of bumps a little bit. So, it kind of, uh, it, it shakes a tiny bit. So, I guess they kind of added that just for a little bit of graphic effect. So, also, now, when, uh, if we're talking about sc scrolling the home screens, uh, you can't notice on the camera here, but when you click a home screen to uh, quickly jump to, they've changed that little vibrate, uh, that vibrate, uh, feature to be a little bit softer on, on the softer side like on the on the original Droid and the Droid 2. So I guess they just add a little bit more of a soft feel with the vibrating on the home screen to make it a little bit more nicer to uh, feel. So another thing now, uh, moving on to some of the applications, uh, they've changed their Gmail app. Uh, it looks a little bit nicer the buttons are uh, better, the graphics and everything, it looks just a little bit nicer. So you're getting a little bit more of a, a real Gmail experience because now you can, the buttons don't look like they just, you know, spent like two minutes on them. They actually look pretty nice. So that's just a little update on the Gmail app. So now let's look at the market. Now, as you probably know, on Android 2.2 Froyo, they've changed the market a little bit. So if I go to games here, I go to all games. See, as you can see, this top bar here, they've kind of made it a little bit more nice, nicer to look at, rather opposed to the old one where it, the resolution wasn't that great. So I guess that's just one of the uh, nice features that you're going to get with Android 2.2. It's a little bit more of an upgrade on, on the graphic end and other things like that. And also you've probably heard of with the market on 2.2 is that you can update all. Now, personally, it gets pretty annoying for me when I have to manually update each and every one of my applications. So I'm just going to quickly try to go to updates, downloads. And as you can see here, they have all these updates that I have available. I'm scrolling down and all of these applications I'm scrolling through need updates. So that, that gets pretty annoying to do them one by one. So now, luckily, Android has added this update all feature where it asks your permission to update all 38 apps and you just click OK. I'm just going to do it a little bit later because I want to get this over with. 
Um, so that was the market. Now let's just take a quick look at the contacts. Now I also noticed with my contacts, I'm going to try to cover it up here. So over here, you can't really notice it, but they've kind of changed this little photo ID thing. They've made it nicer, you know, nicer to see. All these little graphic effects, so that's just a quick upgrade. So now let's move on to the keyboard. Now, let's go to text entry. And let's let that focus a little bit. So the keyboard's pretty much the same, you know. They're not going to change that too much. However, they've changed the autocorrect a tiny bit. Down here, uh, you used to have that period and that comma button down there where if you click it, if you tap the period button twice, it changes to a comma. But now after a word, they just have your exclamation mark, question mark, comma, at, and underscore as the default autocorrect once you finish the word. So I guess if you're not talking about the comma button, then I guess that's going to be a little bit uh, nicer and that's going to be more efficient that way. But... I personally, I kind of like the comma button down there with the period. I felt that they could have added the rest of those symbols without uh, removing the comma from the button, f from the period button. So that just kind of, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I, I'm not a big fan of that in that sense. Um, so now let's quickly look at the browser. Now, I don't want to waste too much of your time here, but uh, the browser changed a little bit. So before, when you went up here, it used to turn red. Now it turns orange. So they've added a little bit more of a nice Android feel to that rather than the, uh, a little bit dull motor blur, I'd say. So, I'm just gonna hold this. So now, uh, so now whenever you go to a home page, or not a home page, just whenever you go to a web page, up here on the address bar, it shows you the title of the page rather than, the, than just the direct URL. So I guess some people will like that, some people won't. I guess it's more of an opinion thing. But let's just say we just go to Wix Gadget. Now before it would have showed... Before it would have showed up here the direct URL. But as you can see, it now just shows Wix Gadget because that's the title of this uh, mobile theme. So now if we just turn off the mobile theme. Let's just show you some of the... So yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you can really see that, but it says Wix Gadget Reno Further. So that's just basically the title of their webpage. So I guess that's kind of nice because now they're showing you the actual title rather than just the URL. So you kind of know where you're at. Where you're at. Um, other than that, the browser hasn't changed drastically except for that, you know, that obvious feature of Adobe Flash uh, player installed now so now you can view flash content i mean it's not gonna be the same as if you're on a actual desktop or like laptop but i mean the fact that you can view it just you know just you know makes me like happy because now you know if there's any flash content on a website that you really want to see now you can see it on android devices that are upgraded to froyo so that was the web that was the browser so now let's just so now if we just look, um, they've also changed some of these settings. So before you used to have your sound and display merged into one option right there, but now they've added sound separately with more options to select from via uh, regarding the sound. And let's just take a quick look at multitasking. Now, Google claims that multitasking is more efficient now with Froyo. Um, I personally have not seen too much difference but i guess some can argue that it probably is slightly faster i mean yeah i guess it's slightly faster but one of the main differences in the multitasking now in froyo is that now they show you your eight your top eight apps that you're multitasking with rather opposed to the top six that they showed you in the old droid in the 2.1 os for the droid x and they've also just added a little bit, made it a little bit more graphical when you select it, it highlights it around it and it just looks a little bit nicer. So, other than that, those are basically the main uh, changes in Android 2.2 Froyo for the Motorola Droid X. So, thanks for watching, guys. And make sure you check out WixGadget.com on a regular basis. We're posting a lot now, and we're pretty much growing. So, 
we need all the viewers that we can get. So, thanks guys, thanks for watching, so I'll see you around.